while we have the engine in the high position before we lower it down uh, we're going to remove the alternator belt this is the top of our timing belt here that's a 15 millimeter bolt right there this is the uh, when you get the tension on the belt this locks it into position back here behind it Let's see if I can show you right there this is the tensioning nut this is the lockdown nut this is 15 millimeter you'll break this first get it loose and then you'll use this 13 millimeter nut to release tension so that we can get this belt off that locks it in place that screw back there lets it move back and forth and then we'll take this belt off all right before you can loosen tension on that alternator belt here's the belt right here that bolt right there that's your uh, alternator pivot bolt it's a 15 millimeter uh, break it loose back it off just a little bit then when you adjust that 13 millimeter nut up there it will release tension all right we're getting ready to start moving the uh, crankshaft and all that so they say take the spark plugs out you know before we do that we don't want to damage anything uh, they have sockets that are made for spark plugs this one happens to be a 5 8 there's nothing special about the spark the socket except it has a rubber in there to help grip the uh, the top part of the spark plug and keep you from doing this stuff too much you don't want to go wiggle a lot you don't want to break that pull these out the wires just grip them good <clears throat> and they make a little sound like that pull them out and we go slow here we don't damage anything all right we're on there now, i'm not just going to crank like this where i'm going side to side you know, i want to hold this centered Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label, I'm going to put a tag with a wire and name them number one, two, three, four. I don't know that it matters, but that's the way I'm going to do it. <laughs> 